on today's agenda is fixing uh, front bumper, rubber, skirt, splitter, dash spoiler, dash protector type of thing. It's this one right here. Obviously this one was already been installed so what we're gonna do is gonna reinforce it because you see what's gonna happen after a little bit this will happen it's gonna start falling down on this side and also on the other side as well so first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need one of these yeah, this is essential tool for everyone that works in his garage, car, or pretty much anything. This little guy is a little tool and also goes into a little roller bed that you can go underneath your car. The second thing you're gonna need is one of these, they call them oil ramps, that you put underneath your tires in order to lift the vehicle so you can easily work underneath. But I'm not exactly sure if these are going to work on this car. And they probably won't. Well, let's start it up and see if it's gonna work. Okay, after you align your oil ramps to your tires, you put the car on the ramp. Okay, so let's see if we can do that without breaking any more things. first time but on the second it will do okay after that you need your bed to go underneath and of course don't forget your drill you're gonna need that and just in case you might need another little two case with extra stuff so And I forgot to mention, you're also going to need one pack of these metal screws. Yep, that's what you're going to need. Just go to our nearest hardware store and get yourself a pack. And don't forget to get a pack of washers. Yes, as big as possible with the tiny hole on the middle don't get the ones with the big hole because then the screw will go into the hole so the tiniest little hole you can find but the washer needs to be as big as you can find in diameter okay so let's get started okay so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a drill you're gonna put a tiny little drill on top make sure it's 
smaller than your screws because see here it has to be smaller otherwise the screw is gonna go into the hole and it's not gonna do anything so okay okay now we're gonna make a tiny little hole where we want the screw to be in Say right here. Okay. There you go. And then you make another tiny hole on the other side. Okay. We are moving to the other side. Put another one right here. Okay. And well, let me remind you, I'm not a mechanic or anything, so everything I do, it's pretty much my first time. So bear with me. This one with the one for these for the screws. She's gonna need it in here. Okay. And you take one of these screws out. And don't forget your washers, because the washer will actually do the trick. Not the screw itself, but the washer is the one that's going to hold that rubber skirt slash protector over here. Because the screw will not do anything. Because this is rubber. This will go through the screw. So this is the thing that will do the trick. In there, right here, and up we go again. Okay. We have that little holder we made a minute ago. And I believe that's it. Make sure you don't go too hard with the drill here because it will actually make itself like a little leg inside the hole and then it's not gonna hold it anymore okay and we're doing the same thing on the other side now let's go on the other side Get your washer ready, and then reinforce your rubber protector on both sides. 
So make, make sure you have your uh, your screw exactly where that hole is. You don't want to be making too many holes in your bumper. Okay. And very gently. Tighten that up. I think we got it. That's it. Well, just in case you want to check your uh, rubber protector, make sure it didn't fall off from any other places. And if did or did not fall, you might want to do a couple of more screws just in case. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put one right here. Just in case we hit something and you don't want to lose your uh, rubber protector somewhere. Okay, so one thing that I found useful is the screw will go through that plastic very easy. So, there's no need to make a hole before you put the screw. You can just put the screw in. This bumper, the Audi bumper, is not that hard. The plastic is actually very soft. So, no need to make a hole beforehand. Okay, and one more right here just in case okay. oh wow looks like new Made from manufacture, huh? And I will think one last one in the middle will finish the job just in case. Okay, I think we're in the middle. So Wow, that came off better than I expected, but well, now that I see the glue is coming off from this uh, rubber protector, so might be more than more than three screws so it's always a good decision to have a pack of screws and washers handy because with those uh, rubber protectors they uh, they don't last long with their glue or should I say double tape so if you see somewhere that your rubber protector is coming off then yep just put another screw you got it So next time you go on your sidewalk, when you park your car, if you don't tear off your rubber protector. Good idea. And this is how your 
and the warp should look like. A lot of screws everywhere on your front bumper protector. As you can see, the car had quite a few scratches from sidewalks when you park your car on your parking space and then you put your front bumper on the sidewalk without even knowing it. Mm -hmm. And now you take your car off your ramps after you're done with your front bumper cover protector. Hopefully this will stay on after I'm done putting it down. success. Everything worked just fine. Three ports are already installed. Front bumper rubber protector. And we managed to get off the car get off the ramps without tearing anything off. That's a good project. Stay tuned. And I'll see you next time.